In a day and age where reading as a pastime is gradually becoming a thing of the past, one young writer is determined to keep this trend alive. Nine-year-old Timothy Kurutunga is a Sri Lankan national living in Australia who has published four wonderful children's books. She's in the process of writing two more and has no plans of slowing down. Her sensational storytelling abilities have brought her writing much praise and she has been recognized by the leaders of Sri Lanka and Australia and even the Queen is a fan. While visiting family in Sri Lanka this year, Timothy spoke to RTV about her journey so far, her hopes for the future and what motivates her to do what she does. Your latest book has been titled The Magic Ring. Yeah. Can you give me an idea of what it's about? Um, yeah, I can. It's about three siblings who go, who find this magic ring and they're transported to another world and they meet new friends who help them escape and capture their enemy Susan because the Su Susan has the ring so they have to try and get out with the ring. So it's an adventure story mixed with a fantasy story? Yeah. At what age did you first decide to start writing? I was eight when I started writing my first book, The Forest of Missiles. And what inspired you to do so? Um, it was mostly me and my sister playing. Like in The Forest of Missiles, there's two brothers. Okay. And um, in one of my parent-teacher interviews, the, my teacher told me I should start writing. So I did. And when I finished my book, my uncle came to Australia to have a visit. And he read it and he said I should publish it. So I did. And that's how I started. And what did your parents say? They really encouraged me and they said I should start and write more books. All of your stories seem to take place in a very fantastic universe where it's full of colourful characters, twists and turns all around. Is it difficult for you to come up with such a universe? Um, not really, it just comes naturally to me. Okay. Are there any writers in particular who you seem to like and who seem to have inspired your work? I'm Roland Dow. Okay. Um, he, he inspires me to write like more exciting one and kind of funny. No, no one more current. Or a bit of J.K. Rowling because of the okay. magic. What aspect of writing do you enjoy most? Um, I just I just like to write to um, just put my imagination out. How supportive a place has Australia been for a young writer? Um, it has been really supportive because my class, I am writing a book uh, like half about my class, half about my trips. Okay. So yeah, my friends help me and stuff. How often do you manage to visit Sri Lanka? Um, I visit every year Okay. with my family. What about Sri Lanka do you enjoy the most? Um, I like seeing my family and going on family trips to like different places okay. of Sri Lanka I haven't been. Your most enjoyable experience of this um, it was going to the eastern province, yeah. like Bataclo, Ampara and Trinko. I heard that the president had recognised some of your writing. I got a letter from him because I sent one to him and he gave me a present as well. And like he said, he encourages me to do it. So like I'm writing more and I'm also writing a book about Sri Lanka now. Oh. And. This book is a story or is it about your travels or what is it about? It's a story about me and my family but we're wallabies. You're what? We're wallabies, they're like oh, kangaroos. Right, right. Yeah, and we, it's like they're pretty much us going but we're wallabies, so. But in Sri Lanka? Yeah. Okay. Apart from your story uh, on Sri Lanka uh, and the wallabies, are there any other things you're working on at the moment? Um, I have the, the Wallaby stories are actually a series cool. and the first book is when we go to Japan and like places we went to, things we ate, theme parks we went to and yeah and then it's the Sri Lankan one in the like different countries after that. Apart from writing of course, what, what other things are you passionate about? I like reading most of the time and I also like just, yeah, pretty much reading. What do you do for fun? I play on my iPad like some brain stuff, like right. Candy Crush. 
So, do you enjoy school? Uh, yeah, I do enjoy school. Any subjects in particular? I like English and maths because they make my brain go, like a stretch. How do you manage to juggle writing, extensive reading and your studies at the same time and make them all work? Um, I just, when I do my school work and my reading, I just put them all, like I write one page a day so, and I count that as my homework. So I do that and then um, I just read after I've finished all my homework. Having read some of your newer books, I've noticed that some of the more tricky words have been highlighted. Um, yeah, the words have been highlighted because, like, see, they're highlighted because uh, when the reader reads it, they're like interesting w words, so they can like learn new vocabulary. I read an article uh, in the online Canberra Times about you having donated 200 books to schools in Australia. What motivated you to do this? Uh, I just want um, kids my age to um, learn more literacy and grammar and punctuation. Do you have an idea why the uh, interest in reading is on the decline amongst the youth of today? Um, maybe because of the internet, because like everyone pretty much goes on the internet, mobile phones, yeah. Is there any way you feel that, or any suggestions you can make to improve the situation? Maybe just try to go to the library more and just read or write or do something without electronics. Have you got any idea of what you'd like to do once you've grown up? Um, probably write more and hopefully become a doctor. It's because it's not really much of computer, it's more like using your brain and your body. So yeah, that's why I like it and shows about more body and stuff. You like the idea of helping people and, yeah. okay. So, what is the ultimate goal you wish to accomplish from writing? Um, so then kids all around the world can improve their literacy okay. and yeah. Based on your life so far and the experiences you've had, what advice can you give to the youth of Sri Lanka who are probably watching this right now? Um, just read more and then your, your literacy will become bi um, bigger and you can spell more, grammar, everything. Any tips or secrets or, or things you do to help improve your own literacy? Um, I just use my imagination. Okay. What do you think make your books different from other children's books? Um, it makes a difference because, as I said before, the words are highlighted, so All right. yeah, so they give you more vocabulary, not only reading. So. If someone were interested in buying your books, do you know where they may be able to get in, get them in hand? Um, you can get them from any leading bookstore in Sri Lanka. Is it possible for you to pick? a favourite moment from your latest book and let the people watching have a, get an idea of what your book, what your writing is about. Um, yeah, sure, okay. Um, I think we should hide, said Rose. They came near a waterfall. I think we should hide in here, Derek pointed to a cave. They walked inside the cave, inside the cave and found lit candles, beds and warm fire. They felt so sleepy that they all went to sleep and fell asleep.